Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Vault City beer. This one is the Barley Wine 2024. This is 12.2% and yeah, it's a vegan friendly beer. Uh, got this from the Vault City website, I think. Or Market Bottle Shop. No, Vault City website. Got it from the Vault City website. And I believe it's part of their sixth birthday. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is, though. Um, love the can art. Very simple. Just a nice tree background. And then the guff on the back says, With a soft tan head and deep ruby hue, our take on a traditional barley wine features a rich blend of British and German malts with a late edition of English and New Zealand hops. Each sip, this, uh, each sip delivers some notes of dark fruit with plum, raisin and fig at the forefront, rounding out this exquisitely layered barley wine. It says that there, it's brown on brown, so it's a bit hard to read. Uh, there's no more guff that's needed. Best before is not till 2029. So, yeah, let's crack it open to see what we got. Barley wine's on this channel are few and far between. I do know that. I do keep meaning to get some more. It's just the few and far between in shops I go to, so I never really get any. I never really see any, so... That's why I don't really get to review them often. Spilt a little bit. Um, so yeah, I don't really get to review them often just because I don't really see them. Anyway. There's the beer. And got, like they said, tanned head. A ruby beer. I don't really know if it's ruby. It's got a ruby hue at the bottom, but besides that, it is not really that ruby in colour. don't know. Camera makes it look black, but it's not. It's more of a brown. Anyway, let's get a smell. Let's see what we get. Oh, dark fruit straight away. There is a nice alcohol ring on there. But yeah, nice dark fruits. Definitely plums. I'm not really smelling the figs and raisins though. There's a nice dark fruit currenty smell to it. It's got mouthful for body and gut. Carbs light, body is medium ish. Nice little dryness in there as well. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Oh, I'll tell you what, my hair is playing up, but I'll tell you what, what it is lacking on the smell for fruit really, really makes up for in the flavour. It is nice, it is dark fruity. What is that? There it is. Um, yeah, it is nice, it's dark fruity, it's got a nice sweetness to it. It's really, it's, I don't really know how to explain it. Sorry about the washing machine. Right, so it's dark fruits, it is plums, it is raisins. I don't really taste the figs. But then again, I don't eat figs regularly, so I don't really know what they taste like overall. Um, it has a nice malty, almost biscuity base, but not really biscuity, but going that way. But it's got a nice malty base to the beer. You can feel it. You know what I mean? You can taste it. You know it's strong. Um, and it is basically the backbone of the beer. The flavour, like I said, is the raisins. It's the plums, the dark fruits. Uh, pardon me. Um, it's got a nice little currency taste to it. Again, dark currants, you know, like um, black currants or red currants, stuff like that. Very dark, nice sweetness into it, you know, sugary sweetness from the dark fruits. Uh, nice ripe flavour. It is malty, but still sweet and fruity. It's got a really nice balance to it. Um, it's nice. 12.2%, it's got a good hidden away about it but it's not too hidden you still get some sort of alcohol at the back of the tongue yeah you get a nice coating of the alcohol at the back of the palate and that's about it it's hidden in the cheeks hidden in the throat it's literally the back of the tongue that you can feel this alcohol and it quickly quickly goes away washing machine uh, yeah quickly goes away it's 
fruity, it's malty, it's really nice. I like this. 12.2, it's a good beer. Um, the only thing I wish is that it was in a 440 count. That's all I wish. I wish I had a door here, I could just close it. Anyway, spilt it and it's kind of in the can. A little bready flavour there. Anyway, Bolt City's barley wine, 12.2%, um, 2024 edition. I don't think I had 23 or any of the other ones. Um, I don't think I did. I might have to check the channel in a bit. Um, overall, out of 10, let's see. It's getting a 9. It's really nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, it just feels like it's missing something. Or that it could almost just be perfect. It's just not there, but it's very close to it. Um, it's like I said, it's fruity, it's malty. It's got a really nice flavour to it. Nice balance between the sweetness of the fruits and the malty, slightly bitter flavours of the malts. But overall, 9 out of 10. Um, so, if you have had this before, please let me know. How small that can is compared to... Look at that. You can see the difference. It's quite literally... Anyway. Yeah, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Vault City's website down below where you can pick one up. If that review went horribly wrong, I'll just buy another one and re-review it. Um, but yeah, if you want one, link will be down below. I got this from their website. I don't know if you can still buy this anymore. I think the six birthdays have gone. All the boxes have gone. So, find one in your local craft shop. Or go to one of the tap rooms and get one. If they have one, I don't know. But I'll find out this weekend. I'm going to the tap room. Um, not the week that I upload this. This will be uploaded after I have been and gone. But I will have been in Edinburgh by the time this is uploaded. And visited their vault. Um city tap rooms and stuff and probably hopefully tried something on tap anyway um if you like the video thumbs up thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later bye